Hey here for Double RT Boxing, Ready Ready Talk Boxing with Mr. A, I'm right here. This is a post fight recap for uh, the new ABO uh, middleweight champ, Demetrius Andrade. Now, the fight could be looked at as two ways, but before I do go into that, thank you for your time, thank you for watching the video, thumbs up, subscribe, share the, share the video, leave some comments, help the channel grow like all you guys have been doing. I think I got like 132 subscribers now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, world. Now, back to the post. <clears throat> you know how we do it? Let's talk some boxing. Now, two things I like about this fight. Two things. I like that uh, Dimitri came out. You know, he's going to get some slack for this, or he might not get some slack for this. It's the same thing. Uh, Lara gets coincidence that's these two guys he stuck with a game plan showed poise and patience the whole fight he didn't rush himself he didn't overcommit to nothing but at the same time people might say like dude you should have got this guy out of here maybe he should have you know he was clearly the talented guy but he took no chances no risk did, did the fight get a little boring at points? Yeah. Like I said, it's the same thing that Laura goes through, this guy went through. Now, the second thing, the second thing is really the first thing I really love. And I might get questioned on this one. On this channel, you know I always talk about how the little trinket belts and how I love belt systems, how it builds up fighters uh, for becoming stars, you know, it builds up a fan base because, you know, if, they, if fighters in the city see their um, their fighter as a champion, they come out, they support them, then the, the networks get to see that, oh, he has a fan base, it becomes a TV star and a pay-per-view star, it helps clients to rankings and all that good stuff. Now, Demetrius Andrade, he became the new ABO middleweight champ. I know people are like, what the hell is the ABO? <laughs> it's the American Boxing so uh, Organization. Now, people, please do a favor. Thumbs up for this. Like I said, I love belts. I love them. Check out the ABO belt. What do you think of it? I think it's a cool belt. <laughs> I wish it had a little more uh, cred to it. It's a cool looking belt, man. I like that belt. But anyway, thank you for that. Now on to the fight coverage itself. Andrade vs. Fox. Now, this is the first time Andrade actually looks small in the ring. Fox was like 6'4". Even as a 160 fight, he came in when they say 180, while Demetrius was 167. Um, the first round was basically where all the action is, and then everything else you could just kind of like miscellaneous talk about the fight. The first real connection punch of the fight was by Dimitri. <laughs> Ooh, swung a left and it, it hit Fox and he went stumbling back Demetrius tried to do a little first round finish Fox was able to survive it and then from that moment on Fox just survived the whole fight he didn't really make no attempt to uh, make Demetrius respect him he didn't give Demetrius nothing to caution about going against um, his, his father, they both both these fighters were trained by their fathers. His fighter, his father was like, you need to do something. Okay, you gave those first two rounds away. Throw some hands, throw some combinations, do anything, bro. You're not going to win like this. Because all, all Dimitri was doing, I mean, not Dimitri, all um, Alancis was doing for the whole fight. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing, man? You got this big opportunity. You know, like I said, Boo Boo may not be known to the, the casual marketing world of boxing, but to the boxing uh, fan base itself, Boo Boo Andrade, Andrade, I keep on saying Andrade, Boo Boo Andrade is a good ass victory if you could beat him. 
or if you can even just make a good showing of yourself that gives you a lot but he didn't do nothing now as far as um what can you say take away from this fight because i said from round one from that punch on it was just all dimitri's andrade clean sweep you saw what you saw back there what fox was doing it, it was it went like that from round two to twelve no, nothing so now the other action in this fight maybe in the seventh round it was a, a clear clear feet sweep uh demetrius goes down so in the history books in the boxing or what's that archives Alantis fox is going to get credited for knocking demetrius andrade down in the seventh round clear sweep foot sweep but um the little what was what now i guess the miscellaneous things we could talk about here was i noticed in the fourth round like, i don't know if he was just overextending his uh punches because fox was not coming in too much and demetrius was actually had to, you know like really reach it but at the end of the fourth round he was axing his corner and from the far from the fourth round on he kept axing his pops in the corner man like hey ice ice me up right here he did, they kept putting ice packs right here his bicep and his elbow like and they kept rubbing it down then later on like in the ninth tenth round they started doing his leg so i don't know if this is an injury that we might have to worry about that looks funny huh <laughs> um that's real funny i don't know if that's an injury we're gonna have to worry about or his legs and um i try not to say um but it's hey Pre president obama always got me saying um so i like that if that's gonna be something we're gonna have to worry about because the way hbo was blowing it up like hbo was really putting in your head like hey we got canelo we got triple g we got David Lemieux, we got Jacobs here. And this is a guy who could fight him. He's 160, he's a great, you're gonna see, cause he's a three fight deal. You figure this is his first fight, Fox. Right now you got a Billy Joe and Lemieux. You got Jacobs and Louise. And then in May you got uh, Triple G and Canelo. So you figure these two fighters, Lemieux and, 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 uh, Lemieux and Billy Joe, Luis and Jacobs, they all fought at the same time. So his next uh, contract fight can be the winner of one of these two. Considering he has that ABO belt, and I don't, and the way he was talking during the the pre-fight interview, he don't seem too keen to fight in Danny Jacobs next. So it could be third, the second fight is a winner of one of those two. Maybe it'd be David Lemieux or Billy Joe trying to get a belt get that belt and then fight the winner of Triple G and Canelo who might have the other belts so uh, Andrade could have the possibility of being that fourth undisputed title on the HBO so can you imagine if it's Triple G and Andrade for a unification for an undisputed unification bout or even better all the crap he's been talking on Canelo for years if you don't know, just go look at a uh, look it up. Andrade calls Canelo this. Andrade calls Canelo. Andrade, Andrade, I should say, Andrade talks about Canelo, and he's been talking so much smack on Canelo for so many years. So can you imagine if those two guys finally meet up for an undisputed shot? Wow, HBO will get really lucky. The boxing fans, myself, as one of them, will be really lucky for that fight. But like I said, it was really um, no much action. But I, Demetrius looked good. What I did like was, you know, he, uh, he, he was just doing one-twos all day, really. One-twos. He threw a couple left hooks, but it was just one-twos. But he was, he was changing the two. He was like, one, and boom, two. One, two. One, two. You know, he it was good. But it was just that up and down, paint brushing of Fox's body. But then, like I said, you can argue why didn't he finish him it was clearly a competition difference it was boring or you could say it was just a really sound sound a really sound proof or a technique sound technique of sweet science how do you think what do you guys think do you think it was a really good uh, sweet science performance or do you think it was a lackluster performance by boo boo and he should have got him out of there Let's see what the let's see what you guys favor. 
you know, thumbs up for participation, but is it a lackluster performance or a performance of sweet science? I'd be eager to see the comments on what you guys think. This is Mr. A saying thank you for your time and support. <clears throat> we are out of here.